Poaching and loss of habitats have been blamed for the decline in the number of grey crowned cranes in Rwanda over the last decade. But conservationist and veterinary doctor Oliver Nsengimana is on a quest to save his country's majestic birds. CGTN's Joy Kiruki Juma reports. The grey crowned crane is considered one of Africa's most striking bird species, but it is also endangered. Despite its leg injury, a tall and elegant grey crowned crane struts through the Umusambe village, a crane sanctuary in Rwanda's capital, Kigali. The bird is among hundreds that were rescued from captivity or the illegal pet trade. So six years ago, there were more cranes um, in captivity, in people's houses, in hotels, than there were in the wild. And what was happening is like um, many people really love cranes, but some people, they wanted to have them in their gardens. So there was a huge demand for illegal pet trade. Nsengimana's passion for cranes goes back to his childhood. The cranes served as alarm clocks in the village and provided entertainment. We didn't have watches, we didn't have like a telephone to tell the time. So we would say, let's wake up when cranes call for the first time. Let's wake up when cranes call for the second time. So it was like a time telling. So just, the, and the people really enjoy their dance, their call. It's just one species that means a lot in the society, in the culture. In a little over six years, the sanctuary has saved over 200 cranes from captivity. In their home range, in, not only in Rwanda, We've lost about 80% of the whole population in the last five decades. So, um, and, and that has meant uh, that cranes uh, have been like a really, uh, like in 2012, they were uplisted from vulnerable to endangered on the IUCN red list of endangered species. So, and the, the population status is still highlighted as, as declining. However, in just four years, the population of grey crown cranes in Rwanda has grown from 487 to 881. Nsengimana says engaging local communities and raising awareness has helped conserve the cranes. Joy Kiruki Juma, CGTN.